Well, we took uh, the textbook funds that we would have spent purchasing textbooks and we were able, uh, our um, uh, superintendent and, lead, uh, and district leadership and our board of education supported us um, reallocating that fun those funds to professional learning. So every year um, the funds that we would have used, the pr proportion of the overall funds that we would have used to purchase textbooks, we then um, give back to our teachers to design a budget for their own professional learning. So that professional learning includes things like, um, well, time for them to look at their curriculum and their OER choices, making sure that those were the proper choices. They have time um, to bring in experts, so they have funds for that. I mean, they have funds to bring in experts. They have funds to attend conferences and share. So I have next week um, my middle school math team will be traveling to an OER summit, to Go Open Summit in California to share their work with other teams on um, middle school math, for example. So when they're there, not only will they share what they know, but then they'll network with other middle school math teams who, um, who can share their learning. And that, that networking is just so powerful. Well, we've, we've really just embedded OER into our curriculum processes. You know, we, we have a, an ongoing curriculum cycle and on a lot of other processes that match that, things like textbook adoption. Uh, we have budget lines and processes for textbook upkeep every year. So what we did in terms of OER was really try to take a look at existing structures and see, well, if we're gonna get rid of, let's say, buying more textbooks and doing textbook, re textbook replacement, how can we take those same funds and just pay our teachers to do OER upkeep? So it's, it's not like we're creating necessarily brand new processes from nowhere. We're looking at the systems we have in place and saying how can they be tweaked and how can they evolve to match sort of the new norms and new expectations. Right now we have grant funding and we realize that's going to go away. So we're trying to do the bulk of everything right now. So we have the workshops going on, we had in the summer, we had them in the fall and now we're going to be doing what we call inspired designers and the inspired designers are going to meet this summer for three days with the state level content specialist to create, develop, um, curate new resources, open educational resources. They will be exposed to the different considerations like I mentioned and use the word CAPE to describe them and then from there they will also become ambassadors so our cohorts will be our ambassadors all the way through. They have sent in professional development uh, plans, which the grant funding has been able to, to support. And then from that point on, after we lose the grant uh, funding, we are hoping that the message has gotten out. All of our resources, webinars, et cetera, et cetera, will be created by them. And then after that, keep that message going.